Good morning everyone. Our psalm of the day today is Psalm 112. In August 1940, Winston Churchill gave a famous wartime speech with the memorable words, Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Of course, the few he was paying tribute to were the fighter pilots and bomber crews who had followed their commands and fought so willingly and bravely in the Battle of Britain. For months it looked like they were on the losing side, but they turned out to be victors in the end. This psalm describes another group of people, people still perhaps relatively few. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. That's a description not of those who cringe angrily or fearfully before a hostile God, but of those who have taken refuge in his grace and who now delight in his commands. The song says that such people are blessed and it's in two main ways. There's the blessing of true riches Wealth and riches are in their house, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. Now look what these people have been doing. They've been gracious and compassionate. They've been generous and lend freely. In other words, they are just like their Lord. They have feared him and found great delight in his commands. The promise of the blessing of riches from the Lord is not because they've earned it, but because the Lord loves to bless his children. In the New Testament we find another hymn of praise and more about these riches. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. The blessing of true riches isn't earthly possessions, but spiritual blessings in Christ. Redemption, forgiveness, adoption into God's family. And so, even in darkness, we can know the light of his love. And then there's the blessing of peace. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. The reason for this peace is because they know that the final outcome is secure. They will look in triumph on their foes. And that's the promise and perspective given to all who follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember what he says. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. And he says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. You see, with Jesus, the outcome is secure. Our destiny is certain. And when we hear his words and trust in him, we can know his peace. So today... Let's be among the few who fear the Lord and find great delight in his commands. Let's be those who fix our eyes on Jesus, through whom we are truly rich and through whom we have real peace. When faced with trials on every side, we know the outcome is secure. 
and Christ will have the prize for which he died, an inheritance of nations. Amen.